today to talk proctocolectomies, lots of fun of course, but I thought I would talk a little bit more in detail about it because I think that I have confused some of you. I do have Crohn's disease as opposed to ulcerative colitis, which makes my situation a little bit rare having a total colectomy and my rectum also removed in this surgery as well as having my anal canal closed up. Yes, I know that is very unusual and the most unusual part about my surgery is that no, I am not having an end ileostomy placed during the surgery because I already have one. So I think it's important that we rewind and we talk a little bit about the different things that they can do in proctocolectomy surgeries because there are a few different options for people in this position. Now, of course, that first option is a proctocolectomy straightforward where your colon and your rectum are removed and you are given an end ileostomy and that means where your small intestine connected to your colon, that's actually going to come through your abdominal wall just slightly, maybe an inch or so, and you'll wear an ostomy bag. Having that surgery may be the only step that you take. You get your ostomy and you get your colon and your rectum removed, and then your anus is sewn up, or if you have something like ulcerative colitis, you may be going back for another one or two surgeries. You may have heard of a J pouch, and a J pouch is something that is actually quite amazing. So the first step in J pouch surgery usually is having a colectomy, so having your colon removed, and then having an ostomy placed. They'll leave your rectum alone because they don't want scar tissue forming in that area because they have other plans in your second surgery. In the second surgery, Surgery, usually a loop ileostomy is formed so that means that your small intestine is kind of folded if you think of a garden hose it's folded up and it's brought through your abdominal wall and you'll have two lumens to your stoma as opposed to one which is what you usually see in my videos because I have an end ileostomy part of your intestine is then turned into a pouch. They basically fold your intestine, and if you look at diagrams of how they make the J pouch, it looks like a J because your intestine is literally folded up on itself, and that's kind of like your holding tank um, that's going to take the place of your rectum because the rectum's job is to hold all of your stool until you can get to the bathroom. Of course, a J pouch is not as good as the real deal, so a lot of people find that they go to the bathroom more often just because it doesn't hold quite as much, and when they go to the bathroom, it's a lot looser because your colon, which is no longer part of your anatomy, is what absorbs water out of your stool. In the third surgery, they usually take down your loop ileostomy and reconnect you, and that's how you're going to the bathroom. You're hooked up normally. Now for people like myself, although it is not recommended, which I'll explain in just a moment, uh, there are some other options for people who don't want to have an ostomy bag, you know, physically outside of their body. There is the Barnett Continent Intestinal Reservoir Surgery, also known as BCIR. There is the Coke pouch and there are a few different ones that they do. Basically, they're making that same J pouch, very similar at least, making that J pouch, but it is inside of your abdomen. You would have a small lumen in your abdomen and you would use a catheter to empty your internal pouch. So you don't have to wear a bag. I think usually people will wear a Band-Aid or something over it, but it's not as noticeable as an ostomy bag. It's really amazing what people have experimented with and what they're doing. Um, I remember going to a BCIR seminar. In that surgery, at least, I know that they create the pouch out of your intestine and they somehow wrap your intestine around so as it fills with stool, it blocks off that pouch. And so you're not just having stool leak out, you have your own like closing mechanism for the lumen in your abdomen, which I think is so cool. The major problem with these surgeries and unfortunately why they don't recommend it for patients like myself, who as opposed to ulcerative colitis patients, um, I have Crohn's disease, so there is possibility for me to get 
active disease from my mouth all the way down to my anus. Somebody that has ulcerative colitis only has active disease in their colon. I hate saying cured and that's what most um, hospitals will say. A lot of doctors will say that. People obviously have an altered lifestyle after that. It is not a normal lifestyle. They're going to the bathroom more often, but essentially from disease standpoint, when they go in for tests, they there's no active disease because where disease was happening doesn't exist anymore. But in my case, if I were to get something like the BCIR pouch, there is a chance that that intestinal pouch could get pouchitis. This happens with people who get J-pouch surgery, which is also known as the ileoanal anastomosis, or the ileal pouch anal anastomosis, the IPAA, and that basically just means your ileum connecting to your anal canal, and anastomosis is just the connection of. With Crohn's, that pouch can get inflamed very much like your the rest of your intestines can get inflamed, so they do not recommend it with Crohn's disease. That doesn't mean that people don't do it. Generally not recommended. I have done so well with my ostomy bag that I'm not gonna do that. I've gotten a number of questions about this upcoming surgery and the major one is, wait, are you keeping your ostomy? And the answer is yes, my surgeon is not touching my ostomy. Uh, this surgery has absolutely nothing to do with my small intestine. Leroy is staying the same, he's hanging out. The only thing that's being taken out is my colon and rectum, and then, of course, the anus will be sewn up. So I will be joining the permanent ostomy club, finally, and uh, the Barbie butt club. <laughs> my surgeon is going to attempt this surgery robotically. That just means that he is gonna make a few laparoscopic or, you know, incisions that are about that big on my abdomen, and then the actual colon and rectum will come out through my anus. I have never said the word anus so many freaking times. <laughs> like I kind of mentioned before, this is not a cure to Crohn's disease. Um, really hoping that nothing shows up later on, but there is a chance that I could still get active disease anywhere from my mouth all the way to what I have left, which is my ileum and my small intestine. And recovery will be difficult. Um, I have seen People go through really rough times with this, and then I've also seen people have wonderful times with this. Um, I basically surveyed all of my friends that have Barbie butt surgery. When I see them at conferences, I'm like, how did it go for you? What did they have to do? And it was like 50-50. Some people said that they healed beautifully. Um, of course, they had a really tough time, but they healed beautifully, and they feel great. And then I had uh, half of the people say that they didn't heal right. Some people had to go back under the knife and have something called a flap, which basically they take skin from another area, usually the butt cheek, and they will put it over the hole. I don't understand the surgery well, so I'm not going to explain it. Sometimes they require um, taking muscle from your legs, using that to help it heal. And this is something that I asked my surgeon about. I said, is this something you recommend for me? And he said, you know, we can absolutely get a plastic surgeon in here and try that if that's what you would prefer. But he said, because I am in a healthy state, he doesn't think that there will be too many issues with healing. So essentially he is just gonna zip that hole up and it'll be gone. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this surgery because I have struggled even after ostomy surgery with energy issues and weight issues because it kind of feels like I'm fighting an uphill battle against my colon. It's just, it's taken all of it out of me and once it's gone, I'm really hoping that, you know, all the nutrients that I take in go to me. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Of course, I will make videos in the hospital um, or Zach will be filming for me if I'm not really up to it and I will keep you all updated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next.